Well, welcome back to the garage and another Caterham update. Not the sort of update I was expecting to make, I'll be honest. Um, unfortunately, it's looking a little bit worse for wear. And I'll explain why in just a moment. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to be it for me for now. Um, due to a little bit of rear end damage. Yeah, that's looking in a bit of a sorry state. Yeah, I'd uh, just pulled away from a set of traffic lights at uh, a crossroads and there was a police car with uh, siren and blue lights on uh, needing to come out from the other direction. So I stopped again, but the taxi behind me unfortunately did not stop. And this is the unfortunate result. Um, Fair bit of uh, damage. Thankfully though, you know, this is a Caterham. It's designed for racing, built for living, right? Um, but that does mean that uh, these are pretty easy to repair in the grand scheme of things. So I expect this will be rear basket, um, the panel uh, paint, obviously, and uh, probably some suspension. I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at it yet. The fuel tank is all out of, out of shape, but in fact, the fuel tank is actively leaking uh, from where I previously repaired it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take the fuel out in a moment. But other than that, I need to leave it alone and let it get checked out by the insurance company. But yeah, what a shame. Um, I've just spent the whole day sort of uh, getting the car ready to do uh, a track day at Castle Coombe next Friday in, uh, what, six days time. Um, so yeah, that won't be happening. <laughs> yeah, it's it's frustrating, of course, but um, uh, what can you do? Um, we'll uh, we'll fix it, we'll mend it, and we'll we'll get it back out and we'll go again. Um, because that's that's really all you can do. Um, one of those things, unfortunate, but yeah, it's it's designed for it's designed for crashing and being repaired. Let's be honest, it's a race car, so um, it, it could be a lot worse. Uh, thankfully, you know, I'm, I'm okay. It was a fairly low speed impact. I was stationary, the, the taxi, well, I don't know how fast he was going, but you know, unfortunately he wasn't looking in front of him. Um, but there you go. So that's uh, a very brief update. Um, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted about what happens with this and the, the repair process. Because I've never been through it before. Um, uh, you know, thankfully, fortunately. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting. Um, it was even interesting for me, just even slightly surreal. It's the first time I've ever, you know, really had to deal with um, with this sort of thing and, and with police. And the first time I've ever had to do a breathalyzer, all that kind of stuff, because it's all procedure. Um, but no, actually, full credit to Thames Valley Police. They were absolutely fantastic at the scene. Um, can't fault them. Really, really supportive. Very good. Um, and uh, yeah, they were... Um, yeah, they, they can't um, sort of assign blame or, or anything with these sorts of things, but they, they definitely didn't suggest it was, it was my fault at all, which was good. But yeah, when you, when you sort of stop to let an emergency services vehicle through, uh, as you should do, um, I think this sort of thing does occasionally happen. And uh, I think I've caused them a bit of extra paperwork because I think technically it's sort of they're responsible for it because it was, you know, their, their presence sort of triggered this. Um, but anyway, as I say, it will get fixed, um, but it probably won't be doing a whole lot more driving for the rest of the year, but you never know, we'll see. So that's it for now. I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, thanks for watching.